I'm Alex Gangitano, Roll Call's Heard on the Hill reporter. This week kicked off the 115th Congress, and on Tuesday, all new members were sworn in. Following the official swearing in, Joe Biden went to the old Senate chamber for the mock swearing in, which is of course where all the selfies come out of. And then the House was sworn in following their speaker election. Some notable attendees were former Vice President Dick Cheney in support of his daughter, new Wyoming Congresswoman Liz Cheney, and former Arizona Congresswoman Gabby Giffords. And representatives are allowed to bring non-adult children, which many of them did, causing a lot of crying babies and toddlers running up and down the aisles. Following the ceremony on the floor, members walk around with their guests and children to check out the Capitol and show people their newly moved in offices. I also chatted with new Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer on Swearing In Day, and he told me besides Senator, his dream job would be to be General Manager of the New York Giants, and one thing in D.C. he hasn't been able to do but always wanted to is watch the Giants beat the Redskins. There's also new signs out around the Capitol complex reminding people that guns are prohibited from the building. D.C. Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton said that she found the signs pretty ironic because of Republican stance on gun violence issues. I'm Alex Gangitano and that's what I heard on the Hill this week.